Hello, Gaz Williams here, and I'd like to look at the Octatrack and its new 1.4 update because it's brilliant. It really is something that sorts out so many issues with the Octatrack and it makes it so much cooler to use. We'll go through all of the features one by one because there's loads. But first, I'd just like to say happy birthday to the Octatrack. It's 10 years old. And uh, to uh, acknowledge that, Electron have released a uh, new look one it's exactly the same thing new skin 350 limited edition all sold out <laughs> i think that's testament to just what a legendary device this is um what is it it is a dynamic performance sampler of course you know what those are well if you don't how would you know the octatrack is and continues to be one of the most unique, perplexing and creative devices ever to come out in the music technology world. And uh, yeah, fantastic that it's 10 years old. And to celebrate that 10 years, you know, this new model has come out, has also brought out this new update to 1.4. And it surprised a lot of us because we thought that the Octatrack was kind of done, you know, being an old device that that it wouldn't get any more features. And not only has it just got a few more features, it's got significant features, as we're going to see now. And I think that uh, if you're an Octatrack owner, Mark 1 gets all the good stuff. There's a few things that Mark 2 does. We'll, we'll do that first, get that out of the way. But in the most, if you're an Octatrack owner, then today is a good day because Electron have just supercharged the Octatrack, which is already pretty supercharged up already. Okay, so let's dive into it. Let's see. First thing on the list. I'm just going to go through the uh, the list from Electron here. But um, in the personalized menu, what you can do now, if we come right down to the bottom, is you can change the LED brightness. And there's three settings of it: max, mid, and low. And actually, if you look at if you look at this around these numbers here, for instance, on mid certainly works better. Better if you want to film it. So let's leave it set to mid. Uh, Okay, n next. Oh, I'll jump to the end, actually, because there's a bunch of ones which are just to do with the buttons on the Mark II. So, sorry, Mark I owners. We'll just speed through this bit now. Um, Mark II, stop LED now lit up in white when the sequencer is stopped. Uh, was it yellow? I can't remember what it was before. As soon as it's changed, instant forget. <laughs> uh, but these ones are cool now. These have got, like, backlit. When, when Whenever you're in the, any of these modes over here, the, the backlit white in the record menu you'll find that source three is uh defaulting to main now meaning that that third one if you use that automatic way of just recording will or you know will just grab whatever's happening out of the master outputs as a default behavior so that's kind of all pretty cool stuff. Let's move on because there's good stuff coming up now. Added the functionality to preview a sequence step, um, including its parameter locks in the grid mode. Okay, this is huge. I love this. So what this basically means is if I was programming something, let's put a bunch of steps in. This is just triggering a sample. You know, and if I just recorded some pitch changes on here, Like so. Now, when it's in stop, in grid mode now, green is the showing that these are triggerless, um, but that they've got parameter changes on. Uh, but if I hold down a trig, I can hear exactly what's on each trig. So it's brilliant for a bunch of reasons. It's really helpful for when you're programming something and you want to, you know, you want to get this one step right here, this step. Let's just get that pitch. Let's just get that pitch right. <laughs> it's a really powerful feature and we've seen Electron introduce this fairly recently on the analog four and the rhythm two. So the way you're doing it is you hold a step and then you hit yes. And that comes out the main outs. If I hit 
if I held it down and hit Q, I'd be sending out the Q outputs. Increased the length of the timeout countdown when selecting bank or pattern and adjusted a number of bank and pattern select behaviors to improve, improve usability and to harmonize the functionality across the Electron product line. Yeah, so what they're basically talking about there is that, you know, bank, I can choose bank seven, uh, pattern three. So that's how it works now. And it works like that across most of Electron products. So the time they've increased now bank hmm, i can be a bit more leisurely about it oh i'll have bank two uh pattern mm, pattern seven <laughs> they've just made that a little bit longer made that little chin stroke moment just a little bit longer added the possibility to display all the parameter values on a track parameter page yeah this is cool so it's just a very simple thing but on all of the track parameter pages across here now what we can do is if we press and hold it it'll give us the numerical uh, values as well Okay, the next one on the list, a little bit more obscure, but if we go into the MIDI setup and we go into the uh, MIDI note setup on the MIDI tracks to make it possible to send LSB bank select messages, great. So now not only can you just do your normal channel and bank, you can get into those extended ranges. If, you know, some modern keyboards or modern things using, you know, with thousands of patches, that's what, that, that's what that's there for. Next one is a big one, um, and that is the added support for pattern-specific tempo. So this is a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant feature, and that means, as you can guess, each pattern, pattern one here. Now, if I go hit in here, tempo, 138, choose pattern two, 120, pattern three, 120, but let's change pattern three to 164. Pattern two, 120 pattern. You can see each pattern has its own tempo. And the way you do that there is function, yes. We'll toggle it between. A major appeal of the Octatrack is in its uh, almost like sound design functionality. So being able to free it up from the tempo being, you know, it takes it away from it being more of a dance music thing into something a lot more creative. Here's a great one. Added functionality to randomize and reload track parameter pages. We've seen this introduced fairly recently on the Analog 4 and the Doritum. And what this basically means is in our different parameter pages here, if we hold that page and hit yes, it'll randomize just the parameters that we're looking at just for that page. And the cool thing is you can, by, by holding that page and hit no, it'll take it back to its kind of saved setting. So let's put an effect on. I'll put a flange or something that's really noticeable. Okay. Hold that page down. Yes. 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 It's almost like flipping through presets. So that's a pretty cool now. It's quite a strong stereo flange effect there so I you know that's cool but I can jump back just like that the added support for triggering trig modes on audio tracks from MIDI <laughs> um, this is a really really brilliant thing and something I was quite disappointed when I realized it couldn't do and that's that when you slice up a sample into the Octatrack all of those slices can now be played via an external MIDI controller. Prior to that you could only play whatever the sample it was selected it would pitch it up or down over a two octave range. This now really increases the, the functionality of a MIDI controller with the Octatrack as we'll see now. So here I've got an Ovation Launchpad connected via MIDI to the uh, Octatrack. And what I have to do, brand new project, I'm going to go into the project settings. I'm going to come down to um, MIDI. And then from MIDI, I'm going to go to Control. And then from Control, I'm going to come down to Audio Note In, uh, set to standard. I'm going to change that to Follow TM, which means that it's going to follow the trig mode now trig mode is when we hold down function and change from tracks chromatic slots slices quick mute and delay control um so previously midi would only whatever the sample is trigger the sample and play it back at different pitches uh, over just a two octave range now 
you can make it uh, follow what these modes are doing. So if I was to choose um, slices, for instance, and load in a sample in the audio editor, slice menu, yeah, create a slice grid, yes, 64 slices, yes, align zero crossings, yes. Okay, so we've got 64, and now we've got 64 pads here. So it's pretty cool because I can now trigger If you're wondering, yes, you can. So, make this pattern a bit longer. Oh, the, this pattern button is improved as well. It's much clearer what's going on here, which, which pattern, which page you're looking at, and which page it currently is on. But also, this is a really cool function. If I was to go into step edit now and choose which page I want to look at, so looking at page one with trig preview, I can hear what the notes are. And if I wanted to, so I can change it to any step I want now. So this, this, this one here. Say I want that one. And I'll set to that one. Added support for applying various trig actions to multiple trigs simultaneously. This includes changes to parameter locks, sample locks, microtiming, copying, pasting, clearing trigs, and converting multiple trigs to trickless trigs or trickless locks. Whew. <laughs> so yeah, so basically holding down multiple trigs, changing things, you can do it on multiple steps now. I did an option to select if note length should be recorded or not while input, uh, inputting notes in a MIDI sequencer. This option is located in the personalize menu. Yes. And if you come right down here, X length grid rec. <laughs> and why you might want to do that is if you are using it as a drum machine type thing with trigs, or if you wanted to be using it more for melodic things where you're holding notes down. So big update, really fair play. Uh, well done to Electron for doing this. And as I say, apart from a few of the things which are about the LEDs in the Mark II and upwards, all of these features work for that 10 year old device. So happy birthday, Octatrack and well done Electron for supporting an old but classic legendary machine. I'm Gaz Williams. Please consider subscribing and tune into my live shows Monday night, Wednesday night and Friday night on YouTube. Bye for now.